Yeah. He's like the rising sun. <laughs> His name is Lebowski. Gotta do the morning duty. Good morning. Yeah, and it's a good morning. The sky's blue, it's not yellow, which is nice. Yeah, last night, three tenths of a mile from the shelter, all of a sudden the wind blew hard. Thought, what is this? Then the sky turned yellow. And we thought, what is that? Then all of a sudden, cats and dogs fell out of the sky again. And uh, Reset and I looked at each other and said, really? And so, yeah, it was tough. Tough 17 miles, particularly the end, but we made it to the shelter, had a great time tonight, or last night, and ready for a good day today. Today, ooh, Saturday. And what says Saturday better than Nero? Yes, this is a new word for you, perhaps. Nero. This means we go just a few miles, go eat at a restaurant, and then have the shuttle driver pick me up and go to the hostel. So we like those kind of days. So it's about four miles today, and uh, looking forward to some town food and the Nero. Nero. Here we go. And what is your name, sir? My name, yes. sir, is Wicked. Wicked? Where does Wicked ha hail from? Hail from? I say Boston, but I'm 18 miles north of Boston in a little town called Marblehead, which is the birthplace of the American Navy, by the way. Ah, I see. All right. And uh, what do you think of our hostel here? So far, so good. I love it. Mm. I thought the shower was fantastic. Man, he needed it. Trust me. He needed it. Yeah, I know. Don't we all? And I need to do laundry. My socks stink the high and <laughs> wet. And, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, we're, we're roommates for at least, you staying here tonight or two nights? Uh, two nights. Oh, us too. Yeah. Are you going to slack pack tomorrow? Yes, we oh, are. All right. Well, the way to go if you can do it. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah. All right, here's the living room. There's Reset. Hello again. Hello again. And hey. uh, this is the leather sofa I'm sitting on. Nice. Yes. I'm wearing loner clothes, doing laundry. Life of luxury. This is the life. <laughs> this is the bone spur, the Chapalachian way. <laughs> All right, we could t tell well, me about your mo your uh, New Hampshire uh, story about how you did New Hampshire last well, year. Well, I did New Hampshire. I thought I could do it, and I did do it with a moped. So I, where I work, I had the mechanics weld me. A, it was a bumper so I could put my moped on the back on a trailer hitch and then lash it down. And then I parked my truck at a trailhead and I got off on my moped, went like 20 miles sometimes, but uh, a few of the hills I had to walk up. It didn't have enough oomph to go <laughs> up. So I decided to myself next year I was gonna use my motorcycle. But, uh, and how'd that work? What did you do there? Uh, basically the same thing, but I left my motorcycle. The most I left it was probably like four days, but I put it under a tarp and I locked it. And I did a lot in New Hampshire with my motorcycle. So you would you would park your truck and trailer somewhere at a trailhead. At a trailhead, ride your motorcycle back to another trailhead. Trailhead, and then hike hike back to my truck. Hike back the, and then take the truck and go get my motorcycle. Brilliant. Thank you, but I thought Brilliant. it was, but that's when I was working, and um, now I'm retired, so, but, uh, yeah, it was, that's it was just interesting, that, yeah. That's that Yankee ingenuity for yeah. you right there. All right, thank you, <laughs> Wicked. All right, did our four miles this morning, went to the Thunderbird, or Thunderhead Lodge to eat lunch, which was fantastic. I should have filmed it, but I forgot. And then Sherpa Mike uh, picked us up and brought us out here. To this, uh, this or it's an orchard. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, the guy out here grows everything, and uh, peaches and pears and I think apples and cherries even. And uh, here's his house. Sure, it was Mike's. Roses. Bonespur shadow. Of course, barn. And then this used to be a mill. I don't know what kind of mill. There's an apartment in front. Apartment in back, apartment downstairs that Sherpa Mike and his wife live at. And uh, we're staying here. Me and Reset, and now a Wicked, and she's the one. 
are staying in here. So we'll go in for a tour now and see how we're roughing it here today. And uh, all right, so now the kitchen, refrigerator stocked, frozen meals, other stuff, dining room, showed you the living room earlier. There's uh, laundry, and uh, here's the bones for. All right, bone spur here, showered, cleaned up, clean clothes, wearing hiker clothes, bandaged, hydrated, looking good, walking tall, talking loud, because that's what I do. Here at uh, Sherpa Mike's, formerly Common Grounds, uh, it's an orchard, farm, mill, converted, apartments, hostel, fabulousness sitting in the backyard motorcycles driving by creek meandering in front of me wildflowers birds sunshine adirondack chairs saturday afternoon when was the last time you had a saturday afternoon with nothing to do. What a blessing it's been. I can't think of any time I ever had a Saturday afternoon where I had nothing to do but to sit in the backyard of an orchard in the mill in the wildflowers in the Adirondack chairs by the creek. Like ever. And it's glorious. It's glorious. There's this idea, it's a God idea and it's called Sabbath. Sabbath. God took a Sabbath in creation. Took six days and took, took a day off. Sabbath reminds us that we are human beings, not human doings. Sabbath reminds us that we are not in charge of making the world go around. Sabbath reminds us that we have a loving God who takes care of everything, even when we're just sitting in an Adirondack chair. So I would encourage you, do it the Bone Spur way, the new Bone Spur way. Take a Sabbath rest. Do it for your soul. Yeah. All right, kids, that'll do it for today. And, uh, we don't love the Emperor Nero, but we certainly love a Nero. Mm -hmm. You like that reset? Oh, yeah. We don't love that Emperor Nero. No, no. But, uh, yeah, Nero's are good. We did four miles and then had a great lunch and then got picked up by, by Mike, Sherpa, Sherpa Mike, and brought out to the county line farm here. And, oh, my God, the man has a heart the size of this county. It's just wonderful. Uh, you know, he and his wife from Australia, uh, they love hikers. They love Jesus. It's just a wonderful thing. So, yeah, I'm every day I'm more and more just amazed by how I see the body of Christ come together and manifest in this love fest. Uh, you know, with the trail kind of being the spinal cord of it. It's really a terrific thing. So what a great thing to experience. I'm just grateful as I could be to be out here. So um, we're going to get early tomorrow, but tomorrow is Sunday. And what's the word we love on Sundays? Slack pack. Mm -hmm. We love that word. So that's good. We're going to get a good night's sleep here and hit it in the morning. So may your eyes be filled with wonder. May your heart be full of joy. May your footsteps be firm as you walk with God. Amen.